and that's a nail a flat tire for sure i think i got everything i might need them all right guys day two uh we're on the kind of the back side of a cold front here i'm out here at uh beaver at the airport pond and had a subscriber hit me up he's actually a guy that my old lady used to work with he's a good dude but what we got right here we got this small pond it ain't real big but it's full of bass catfish trout crappy big old carp the whole nine yards let's put a camera on our chest and get fishing okay Start out this Ned rig, guys, just because. Generally, probably out into the middle. Yeah. But we'll walk around it a couple times. We'll find them. Yeah. I just got my line broke. Just got that line broke that, that easy. Yeah. There's no way that that... Guys, I didn't feel nothing. Look there, it's a fresh break. Damn. What the hell, unless I run that across something. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Ned rig didn't last long. It's spinner bait. chattering bait see what the color change and make a difference uh, chrome joe fly on here and uh, I've been seeing some little uh golly come out there there's a nest right there right there's a bed right there i need a swivel on this there's one Oh, just missed one. I see, hey, there's a couple beds up here too. They're empty, but they're fresh. Yeah, I just missed one right here on the spinner bait, guys. I bet there's still plenty of trout in here if we can get on them. Yeah, I don't, uh, I'm assuming they put them in here this year. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm up here on the, some open water. See if we can't drift this around in here like this. And maybe we can get lucky right here. Hey, one just pulled that float under. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. There we go. We got something here. There we go. Little trout. Little old bitty rainbow. Guys, look here. Little old tiny rainbow. Look at that thing, guys. Super tiny. Super, super little tiny rainbow. Cool. 
go on. Just an old pink worm and a float, guys. That's all you need. Let's see if we can't do that again. Look right here. That damn trout floated back up. It's all right. I'll take him home, put him in the freezer with the rest of them. Come here, buddy. That fish swam off and then floated right back to the top. I ain't gonna leave it lay. I'll use it for cut bait somewhere. Okay, guys, we uh, made a move back out here at this honey hole. I only got a chance to fish here three times last year, but it's full of crappy, big old bluegill and, and bass that I know of. And it's a little bit more protected down here from the wind, too. I'm just throwing that pink trout worm on the, under a floater here just to see what... See if I can find one here. Let that drift around there a little bit and see if we can. Look there, there it goes. Gone, son. I missed him because of somebody's big old gob of fishing line on the ground. I hate that. I hate people throw line on the ground like that, man. It kills me. That's why I missed that fish. My reel got tangled up. <clears throat> he sunk it out of sight too, buddy. He was pulling the slack out of the... I didn't even have to wind no slack up. He poured it all out. He hit it so hard. Probably a crappy. He's bluegill in here with the dots on them big as nickels. I catch you on the bank, guys, throwing line and shit on the ground. I'm going to put you on blast and call you out. This beautiful place right here, and you got to deal with this crap because some lazy ass wouldn't take their garbage out. Hell out of here with that shit. And what I done is I slid my float up some and set this rig deeper. Okay, I'm back in it, guys. Just missed one. <laughs> one grabbed at first cast. And crappy must be staged up a little deeper. Some beautiful fish in here. They're clean looking, you know. If I can catch one of them, I'll show you. There he is. He picked it up that time. I got some freeze dried minners in my thing too. Missed him. Missed him. I like watching them floats go under. I set that rig about, about another foot or two deeper and one grabbed it. Lord, how mercy, Alan, what's wrong with you today? Jeez, look at that crap, guys. Tied me on a Joe fly, silver Joe fly. See if I can't get them crappy to eat this. Hmm, looky here. Huh. 
I hear some fish. There we go. There's Mr. Bass. There we go. Come here, buddy. About time. Caught on a damn trout worm, fellas. Nice little bass. Pretty little old largey. This pond's full of these. Okay, guys, I found some fish right here. It's hard to get in here to them, man. It's hard to cast. <laughs> See? Look at the fish. Look right there at the fish, guys. See them? I mean, they're fucking schooled up back here big time. Ah, damn it. I had him again. I swear he was 20 or 30 bass in that school. I mean, a bunch of fish. Should have caught two right there. <laughs> Done got damn cold, boys. That's deep as shit right here off the bank. It's that deep off the bank. Tip them. Tip of my rod to my lure, about five, six foot deep, right here off the bank. Guys, right here is Jordan. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you. So, a super Jordan? good dude, man. Super good dude. You're not gonna see me with anybody that ain't fucking super good people. <laughs> That's true. Simple as that. He's real like me. Loves fishing like me. And uh, he used to work with my old lady and everything. So I got the green light on this cat two years ago before I ever even met him. My old lady gives you the green light. By God, you're good. If you go outside, exercise extreme caution and common sense, you should be okay. 
I'm not going to live in fear. Just live smart and live tough. You'll be all right. Guys, till next time, we'll holler at you.